Greetings, Richard Fulmier, and welcome to another Richard's Rock Rambles. Been away for a few weeks, had a few things to sort out, but I'm back. So uh, we're going to carry on looking at some of my uh, box sets, unboxing the box sets, as it were. And uh, today's box set is, is quite an interesting one. Um, it's various artists, and it's in the crowd rock vein and progressive rock. Now, kraut rock was the scene that happened in Germany in the late 60s, 70s, uh, with certain bands. They got that label, some of the English bands as well. And there's also some progressive rock and space rock, all kinds of stuff on this box set. Really cool set. Um, I think this was a budget release. It was a limited edition. Six CD set. I very kindly got this from a late friend of mine, Mr. Craig Butcher. And uh, yeah, I'll forevermore be grateful for uh, getting this because it's got some really interesting stuff. Um, it's not your average collection. Uh, it's not music that you're going to play at your next party. It won't get people on the dance floor, but it's definitely headphone music. And there's some great artists on here. So let me just show you what it looks like. It's pretty basic. So here you have discs one, two, and three, like that. And on each disc it tells you who the artist is and what the song is. And there's four, five, and six, same story. The biggest gripe I have with this box set though is that there's very little information. In fact, there's no information about any of the artists, any of the songs, and you know, there's a lot of stuff on here that even I was, you know, I wasn't really clued up on. So it would have been nice just to have a little bit more info. But nonetheless, it's got some great music, and that's the main thing. So here you can see that gives you the whole rundown, as well as in each uh, set that gives you the song and the artist. So just to give you an idea of what's on here, the first one is called looking for an answer in the sky so obviously that's got to do with space rock excuse me i'm just having my morning coffee here and there are quite a few well-known names here you'll you'll see as i read them out um so it's got to do with uh, sky space whatever the first disc watcher of the skies here done by steve hackett now of course steve hackett was part of the genesis the early genesis and this is him on his own. It was a Genesis track originally. I'm trying to think what album that was off. Uh, was it Foxtrot? Or was it Nursery Crime? Anyway, it was one of the early Genesis um, albums. So that's the first track. Then you have Giles, Giles and Fripp. Now that's Robert Fripp from King Crimson. I'm not too sure who the two Giles are here. But they do a track called Talk to the Wind, which is also really cool. Uh, this is one of the artists that I wasn't aware of, Anthony Phillips featuring Phil Collins. I mean, I know about Phil Collins. Anthony Phillips, I wasn't to keep you up on. God, if I saw her now. Uh, then we have Atomic Rooster. Now, Atomic Rooster were sort of progressive. I'm not sure if they were in the kraut rock vein. Progressive, hard rock. Um, Vincent Crane on the keyboards. Um, most notably on the Hammond B3. And here they have one of the early hits, Friday the 13th. I think that may have been actually from the first album, just called Atomic Rooster. Um, and of course, at that stage, it featured the drummer Carl Palmer, who of course went on to Emerson, Lake and Palmer. So you can see there's some well-known stuff and some not so well-known stuff. Then there's a track by Rick Wakeman called The Mission. Uh, then there's The Hunter. Uh, and here done by GTR, which was kind of like a... Super group, which didn't last too long, which comprised uh, Steve Hackett and Steve Howe. They were the two guitarists, Steve Howe from Yes, Steve Hackett from Genesis. And they've got a track here called, um, well, The Hunter. But I think that's that well-known track, The Hunter, which has been covered by many people, including uh, Free. Then there's Pedro's Party from David Greenslade. Of course, he had his own band, Greenslade. Um, that's, that's kind of folky. There's also bits of folk amongst these uh, discs. Lots of variety. That's what I love about this. I was actually playing this the other night. And you never get bored because it, it, 
it changes tech from one track to another, which is what you want. Then there's a, a band called Stackridge with a track Tea Time. Robert Wyatt, of course, uh, Robert Wyatt was with Soft Machine and a track called Unmasked. And then probably the weirdest track on the first disc uh, by the band Gong. Now, Gong could make some really strange stuff. And what they've got on here is one called Om Riff. So it's a sort of a chant, really. Um, yeah, very strange. So that's the first disc. I'm not going to go through each track of the rest because there's quite a few tracks on here and we'll be here all day long. And I'm sure you'll get tired of my face. Uh, <laughs> so the second disc is called The Unanswerable Passion of the Strands. Whatever that means. By the way, the first disc is 51 minutes long and the second is 55. So you definitely get bang for your buck. Um... I think because it was in a budget range, you know, six discs, that's probably why you didn't get much info inside there to keep the costs down. Bit of a shame, but, but anyway. So here you've got bands like Thundercraft, Generator. There's a band that I struggle with still. Some of their stuff's just way too out there for me. Um, then you've got a band called Fission Trip and a track called Santa Maria with Adrian Ballou. Ian Wallace and Mel Collins. I think Mel Collins recently played with uh, King Crimson on one of their last tours. Sax and what have you. Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come, doing Gypsy. You know, Arthur Brown had that famous hit of his called Fire. You've got the band Audience on here. Ginger Baker doing a track called Rabbit Run. Um, disc 3 is called Visions and Marmalade Thoughts. Yeah, that's quite out there. Um, here you've got people, audience again. There are some bands that get repeated. Uh, Warhorse, which was an um, XD Purple band. And Dick Simpa's band, I think. He was the bassist for Deep Purple, the first lineup of Deep Purple. Um, who else is on your Hawkwind is on you, one of my favorite space rock bands. And uh, they do a track called Clouded Vision. Uh, then the guy from Coliseum, Dave Hextel Smith, and a track called Where One Is. So you can see there's quite a variety on here. Then the fourth, uh, the fourth disc is Phosphorescent Creatures on German Skies. So here you get some of the German bands, seeing as this is a kraut rock uh, compilation. Birth Control, with a track called Stop Little Lady, which is a really cool track. That's one of the, on my radio show, I think I've played that track a few times. Birth Control were a, quite a big German band. In the 70s. Hey, you over there by a band called Walpurgis. Uh, who else is on your Atlantis with a track called Change My Mind. That's with Inga Rumpf. She was with a German band called Frumpy. And I think they're on here as well. If I'm not mistaken. No, they're not. They were more in the hard rock vein. So that's disc four. Then you're on disc five. It's called Tripping on Kraut Rock Land. So that's more Kraut Rock. Uh, bands like Embryo, Cosmic uh, Jockers, Mythos. A lot of these I didn't know about, so I had to sort of Google these and look them up because, as I said, there wasn't any info here. Uh, Walter Wagmuller. Some of the stuff's a little hard to get into, but uh, it's still interesting. That's what I like about it. You know, you discover new stuff. And uh, that, that disc is 70 minutes long, so that's pretty long. And, uh, no, that was the previous one. This one is 61. So these are, there's a lot of music on here. Some of these tracks are quite lengthy, being progressive rock. And then the last disc is called Isolated Mansions on Faraway Weekends. And here you've got uh, Hawkwind again with Choose Your Masks. That's one of their big hits. Uh, Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come Again with The Hymn. Uh, I'm trying to think who else is on here. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of you. There's quite a few artists and quite a few songs, as you can see. I just want to see what label this was on. It's a very small label, I think, one of these small independents. Music Brokers. I haven't heard of those guys before. So there we go. A really interesting box set. Six discs. This was a limited edition, so I'm not sure if you're still going to be able to get a hold of this. Uh, perhaps Discogs would have it, or I'm sure there must still be copies lying around, floating around. Uh, well worth your time if you're into kraut rock, early 70s rock, progressive rock, space rock. It's all on here. And uh, yeah, interesting stuff. That's it, guys. Have a great week. 
And uh, if you haven't done so yet, down below, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Any comments, more than welcome. Perhaps if you know more about these guys than I do, or if you've got this compilation and you know a bit more about the bands, uh, yeah, let me know. And I'll catch you soon. Cheers.